Bob Marley said, one good thing about music is that when it hits you, you feel no pain. The beauty about music is that it connects people, it carries messages, and of course, the musicians themselves are the messengers. Well, I would like to believe. Sali Bonani, and welcome to yet another episode of Tata Wena. In this episode, we are talking music in Zimbabwe, the evolution of music, its relevance to our society, and of course, just reflecting on how far we have come as a society through music. Later on, we're going to hear from a musician and a radio personality on the influence of music in their spaces. And we close down the show with your favorite segment, What Grinds My Gears. Joining us in this conversation is guitarist and legendary musician. If you are in Lawa, you, like me, know this man to be the godfather of jazz music. Ubaba Uhatson Simba. And we also have Imbube musician, producer, and if you still remember Insingize Emnyama, I'm sure most of you remember him for their hit song, Sugar Daddy. In studio is Domisani Ramadu Moyo. Talking about the arts, I'm seated here with two gentlemen that are outstanding in the musical sector. They've given voice to the Zimbabwean music, and some of them, these two gentlemen actually have been a good influence to a lot of our, our artists in Zimbabwe. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Sebonga. It's good to have you here. I would nice mm -hmm. love to know what are you, uh, which are your three musical influences and why? Starting with you, sir. Three. Uh, well, I would say uh, I'm coming from a Mbuve background. Mm -hmm. Mbuve. Mm -hmm. So, Black Mfolosi, Lady Smith, Black Mabazo. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, since since I'm Mbuve, I, when I was at school, I love uh, vocals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Black and Follows and Lady Smith Black Mambazo used to listen to at home mm. their concerts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And my uncle personally was pushing. Okay. He had a lot of collection of, uh, of uh, uh, vocal uh, uh, albums. Mm. Mm. So sometimes we would say, Fana Buzo Shabira Lapa, you know, I had that bass voice, love me with Shabira along with us, uh, mm. the groups. So, that's how I got influenced in that uh, uh, type of music. I grew up uh, during uh, a, a time when uh, black people were looked down upon. Eh? Mm. So the first guys to influence me were like also black like me. And I saw them on TV and I said, ah, can a black man be on TV? Yes. You know, Jimi Hendrix, mm -hmm. uh, most uh, influential guitar player of all time, uh, even up to now, you know? All right. And Nkula, uh, going through to uh, Emma Koko and Teng mm. you know, I met like uh, Opepinda. But how old were you, Teng I was like uh, 11, 12. Was it legal though? No, nah, well, when I was in the house, I could stand outside. <laughs> Lapana, I remember, you know, we, we used to make a lot of money through Mutanga. Wow. I don't know now if it's, if it's still like that, but... So, Konapana stings, you know, you could hear the, those harmonies from Abatala, Bishawela, being up and up you know, and stuff. So, mm -hmm. it was lovely. And then there was uh, the jazz guitarist, uh, Wes Montgomery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Eric Gale, those were my, my first, first uh, influences, you know. Uh, and then um, locally here, yeah, we used to. We used to go to to Magwegwe. Mm. Yeah, there was a great band performing there, and Love Mo Majaiva, and I was the front man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw him before before Independence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was singing cover versions of uh, Barry White, Michael Jackson, and a lot of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then there was uh, also um, Thomas Mafumo and Zex Manato. All right. Yeah, those were the guys that were there at that time, and. Uh, a little bit of Oliver Mtukuzi also. Okay. Yeah, those are the earliest influences. So we don't have, currently, you don't have anyone who's influencing you right now? Because uh, you all mentioned wires, wires, but who, do we have uh, anyone currently that's, that's influencing uh, you? Uh, yeah, I know there is some good, good guys, uh, you know, but uh, the difference uh, with then and now is uh, most of the mus musicians that are there, this is, are not very outstanding, you know? Okay. Yeah, they almost play the same thing, all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, locally, the youngsters that have come up, there's also some good musicians. Uh, Chuaniso, she was a great, 
a great musician. Mm. Rock royalty, eh? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was great. I learned not long ago playing guitar, not like Umtara. Umtara has been playing guitar for Yeah, he's ages. our Jimi Hendrix. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I started to, to learn to play guitar in Austria. That was, I mean, I started a classic guitar. All right. All right. So for me, teachers were teaching me the classical stuff, you know, but I mean, I, I would listen to him too because the way he, he picks, him, yeah. you know, so for sure, uh, he's still influential mm -hmm. to me, yeah. But a lot of our musicians and audience have a story saying, ah, I started off in the church. And I like what you said earlier. You said I used to listen to a lot of music back in, in the house. Um, you, they would play in Bobe. Um, Dara, where did you start your own music? Like, when did you, don't we have like a culture of music in the home setup? Oh, yeah. Um, my father was a, a great vocalist, but in the church. So it goes back to the church. Yeah, he was, he was a, a churchman. Mm. And I wasn't a churchman, you know, by then. Mm. I used to run away from, from church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a youngster, you know, you grow up and you are rebellious. And it doesn't go along with being in church, you know. Mm. Yeah, and my mother was also a singer. All my sisters are singers, but in church. Mm. Mm. So I think the... The music in my blood is more by inspiration mm -hmm. than by, by, by learning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you know? Yeah, because inspiration, is, it can only come from, yeah. from above. Talking about Zimbabwean music, uh, where are we currently in terms of Zimbabwean music, Ali? Are we getting there? Are we in a bad state? Are we confused? Are we mixed up? Where are we? Ah, well, I wouldn't say uh, confused or bad state. Uh, I mean, uh, Zimbabwe as a whole, we have uh, different types of music. I mean, I personally, I think uh, from the, what I listen, mm -hmm. uh, I listen I, I, I've worked with Umdala, I've worked with Jays. Uh, I'm listening also to some stuff uh, from the radio. There's this identity thing. Yes. You no. Know, but... I wouldn't say with people shouldn't do that mm. because uh, what I mean at the end of the day, music is always a mishmash of this, uh, yeah. my, my pieces of this and that, mm -hmm. you know, trying to bring a certain sound out. Mm -hmm. So I mean, for the young ones, you know, probably it's good to to have the hip hop, the raga, you know, until we get a certain sound mm -hmm. like what in what, what's happening in Arare. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I still believe that. Uh, that the, the music ep which is played live is life mm, and uh, life. you know it could stay for a long time mm. like, i wouldn't say what music company but there's there's a type of music next year mm. it's gone yeah like he's saying <laughs> my cry is about um the young generation taking up an instrument and learning it yeah you know because uh, when music is rated, it's, it's, it's done in different categories. Guitar player, keyboard player, mm -hmm. you know. So if you take your time to learn any of those instruments, you fall into the category where you, you, you can be classified also. As a musician. Yeah, as a musician. Because if you go back, I, I, I would want to give you a task. Go back to the dictionary and look for the definition of musician. Yes. And you see what they say. Uh -huh. I, I won't say it. <laughs> I, I want you to go and look, look it up, and, and it will give you a good direction of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Dala, you have played with uh, Andy Brown, Leonard Dembo, it is Wautonga, Tarone Gitare, the cool crooners, the list goes on, um, over the past years. Uh, mm -hmm. So what is the Zimbabwean sound? Uh, yeah. I, I believe uh, every Zimbabwean has got a Zimbabwean sound mm -hmm. within, within themselves. You know? what, what, what is important is people outside there, mm -hmm should be able to identify that sound which, which you have inside of you mm -hmm. and say, this is a Zimbabwean sound. Mm. Right. Uh, what I'm saying is, um, if a song is, is played outside Zimbabwe, 
and the listeners are perhaps in Switzerland or wherever they are, mm -hmm. they should be able to, 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 to say this is, this is a, an African sound. This comes from the southern part of, of, of Africa. I like that, but then don't we have also a responsibility to, for us ourselves to be able to define it first before anyone else defines our sound? It's a, it's a problem hmm. uh, because, for example, artists like us uh, here in Blawayo, well, most artists who sing uh, Ndebele songs or beats, which uh, most of the uh, journalists, you know, they, uh, especially in Arara, they will say, ah, you know, uh, uh, material and artists, they are, they are struggling with uh, an image mm -hmm. of their own. They are always uh, playing like South Africans. Mm -hmm. But look, <laughs> we are still saying, because your question is, uh, what, how, can, how can it define uh, Zimbabwe sound? Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. us, so. since we will be doing our sound. Okay. Since it is Zimbabwe sound. Then somebody tells you, to know, this is a South, a South African sound. Wow. But culturally, you know, His, historically, way we are linked with those exactly. Mm. Yeah, we so it's really mm. difficult to say a Zimbabwean sound. Mm. He said the music must come from where from from themselves. Yeah, right. artists. You know? So from region to region, you know, it's all different. From it's person different. to person, yeah. artist to artist, you know, mm. they could just define their own type of music, mm -hmm. and then that person will be from Zimbabwe. Like what he's saying, yeah. Uh, I'll give you an example of of of, of Jamaica. Mm. Right. Uh, there's Gregor Isaacs, Ben Spear, mm -hmm. Winston Rodney. Mm -hmm. All those guys play reggae, mm -hmm. but the reggae they play is different. Mm -hmm. Because there's roots reggae, there's this, then they started, all that. Mm -hmm. But it's all reggae. But it's easy to identify that music as coming from Jamaica. Yes. I think that is also caused by, because in Jamaica, the, those guys speak one language. They yes. speak English. Yes. That makes it easy. For them to, to to have the same music but different genres, mm. you understand, mm. because of the language. Mm. But now, for a country like Zimbabwe, that's got close to 20, 20 different languages. Mm. Everyone expresses himself, they express themselves according to their language. Yeah, for example, with mm. we have Makumba now, Makumba, mm -hmm. they are from Zimbabwe. But I tell you, many people, they don't identify. Cannot identify with that group. With that oh, group. Okay. Yeah. But they are from Zimbabwe. Mm. Mm. You know, yeah. out there, people enjoy the music. Uh, they go play big festivals and stuff. Mm. Yes, as Zimbabweans, you know, unfortunately, we even don't understand their what language, they, what they'll be, singing. what they are singing upon. Mm. You know? mm. Yeah, but they are Zimbabweans. Mm. Mm. But we should just embrace, <laughs> you know, all corners of the country. You know, what mm. corner music, epuma, and down is Zimbabwe. Yes, yes, yes. Regardless of the sound, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. of whatever instrument is being played. You know. So maybe might, might you say Zim Danso is our new sound because it receives a lot of attention and even they sell out their concerts. Mm. Is that maybe our sound, possibly? I, I don't know about, about Zim Danso being <laughs> our sound. Because when you say Zim Danso, uh, it, let me put it this way. I started listening to dance mm -hmm. myself before there was Zim dance mm. and so I I know the da I know dance before there was Zim dance mm. You understand? So I think this Zim dance borrows from that dance that I was listening oh, okay. to. So that makes it the mm. beat is dance hall. Yeah, the language is ours. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We, we, with music. <laughs> We borrow from everyone uh, because, like, 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 I'll speak like uh, during our time. Eh? Mm -hmm. The music that was appreciated was foreign music, and the radio stations were playing foreign music, mm -hmm. so we were forced to identify with the foreign content, mm -hmm. and we modeled ourselves along that style. Mm -hmm. If you play that music, then you you became a somebody. Yes. Yes. Right. If you play like Thomas Mopuma or Solomon Scusa, oh, you are like, ah, when, when, ah, yes, you are born to enjoy, so, ah, when. Well, let's talk about the business of music. I mean, um, how involved are you in terms of um, helping an artist to generate income? 
making money or making uh, impilo out of the music mm. as a producer again. Mm. I identify the artist. Mm. You know, I look for the market outside. Yes. Especially overseas because I deal with music uh, which is called world music, mm. which is a lot of market outside the country. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, and most, mostly, most of the times, the music which is actually neglected here, mm. you no, know, or which is re which has a very low uh, airplay and stuff, you know. Mm. So uh, unfortunately, that's the music to me, which that, yes. you know. From there, that's when you know you get to uh, to get concerts. Yes. Through concerts, you sell CDs. Yes. Because nowadays, you know, it's rare to find someone going to a music shop just to go and buy a CD. Mm. You no, know, it's not like twenty years, thirty years ago. Somebody has to see you, mm. you know, get, wow, I like this music, mm -hmm. then buy the CD. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Or else, these days people go online, you know, they search for whatever music they are searching for, and then maybe if you like, they come across your music, uh, yes. then they sell. Yeah. Dada, you are right in the deep end of, of music. Yeah. Um, do you do the music because you have a passion for it, or it's about sales also? Because you touch a little bit on mainstream. Um, is that where you are, or you're in a different setup? <laughs> uh, you see, uh, music has to be there first mm -hmm. before it can be sold. Eh? So the passion has to be there also. All right. Yeah, that's what drives uh, music. But you have to pay rent still at the end Me of too. the day. Yeah, you know, everybody needs the money. Mm. So I, I don't know how much I'm worth. If you ask me, I. I I don't know, but there's somebody out there who thinks I'm worth so much. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not really my, my area. Eh? Because if you, are, if you would ask me to sell myself, mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you that I'm worth so much. Mm -hmm. And then somebody will say, no, 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 no. You are worth less than half of what you are, you are claiming. Or more. Or more, <laughs> you see. So I, I believe uh, music as a whole eh, mm. is good different areas where there's different experts, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but the trend these days in, a, in our country is that the musician is the, is the musician, he's the producer, yes. he, he's the promoter, mm -hmm. he's the one who puts posters everywhere, you understand. Mm -hmm. That, I think, if it is delegated to the right people, it will generate a lot of money for a lot of people. Yes. True. Yeah, because some of us are, are just musicians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how come it's so difficult for our musician to tap, musicians rather, to tap into the international market? Because you, for example, I'll just give an example. You find that my figures would come to Zimbabwe. It's sold out and people know of my figures order. But then our, our own musicians, when they go out, it's either they're playing for, their, for Zimbabweans or for um, uh, hardly you find that they have like an international audience there. Why, how come we have such difficulties? National. I think there are, they are artists uh, who, are, who have done it outside there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who play for international people, mm -hmm. not only Zimbabweans, but uh, really an open uh, audience. Yes, audience. Mm -hmm. I know Black and Folosi. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Hope Masike. Mm -hmm. I know Mokumba, mm -hmm. in Singizi, right. uh, where, where, where I'm part of, uh, and um, Nobuntu as well, mm -hmm. who have just be began touring in the last few years. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you will find that we're gonna, the reason why they are playing for, I mean, why they are successful mm -hmm. in that uh, term is that they are playing music from here, mm -hmm. natural music from here. Mm -hmm. Music you know, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, original music, original music. Yeah. And then because you mentioned uh, Mafiki Zolo, well, they are there is this uh, music from here, uh, from here. Mm. You mentioned dance hall, yeah, mm. right. For me now, umuntu onjango winki di, right? Uh, ugu tukona abe to <laughs> to play for international <laughs> audience mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. representing Zimbabwe. Yeah. I'm not saying the Winky D is not good. He's mm -hmm. good. I'm enjoying his music as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. But when people want Zimbabwean music, yes, they wouldn't uh, say a couple years or as a performer. Mm -hmm. You know, they would rather take Hope Masike. Mm -hmm. You know, they would rather take uh, all of them too. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, that's that's the importance. So people should uh, uh, play uh, uh, their own 
music, mm -hmm. where they come mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. their identity. Mm -hmm. It's interesting out there. It's the music. It's our music. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I took a walk into Kalanga land yes. with my friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that I've been, I've lived all my life in Umlawayo. Yes. A few kilometers from, from, from Plum Tree, where Kalanga is spoken, mm -hmm. I didn't know about the music that those people possess until I went there. In the rural areas where there's uh, very little technology, mm -hmm. where you find uh, an old man sitting under a tree, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, all I was really interested in, in finding out was the music, according to these uh, gurus uh, from long back. Yes. And they would sing the melodies and I was listening to the melodies. I've never heard that kind of singing. Mm. I've never heard that kind of music mm. being played anyway. Mm. Mm. And to me, that music is the one that is supposed to be given to the world. Mm. So that they know that there's Zimbabwe music, which is like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see, uh, if you pick up a guitar today and you want to play rock music, mm. rock as... as as rock music, yes. Uh, and you are a Zimbabwean. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can express yourself better than Jimi Hendrix, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. better than Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, better than the Beatles and all those. That music has been done over and over and over so much yes. that if you are going to present it to the world from a Zimbabwean perspective, true. it becomes meaningless. Yes, yes, that's true. Yeah. So you know, to answer your question, people are. are, are what word can I use? Uh, masquerading is, is, <laughs> is somebody else mm. instead of being Zimbabwe. Actually, to add on to that, we had Pat Sanyati earlier on the, on the program, and then he said that the African is quick to run away from himself. Do you oh. think it's the same thing in music? Yes, it is. Mm. It mm. is, yeah. Uh, b because it's easier to be yourself yes. than to be somebody There's else. No effort at all. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you, you must just pick up that guitar, if it is a guitar, and, 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 and sing from your heart, mm. you know. But you cannot sing from your heart playing blues, because blues is, is, is out of the Zimbabwean context. Yes, yes. You yes. know, you express yourself better if you are playing Shigicha, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. or the kind of music that we can readily identify mm. ourselves with. Definitely. Yeah. So you'd say that's the formula possibly, we just need to be able to bring it back to ourselves. Yes. We have to be us, mm -hmm. we have to uh, take that us to the people out there, mm -hmm. and then they will accept us Definitely. You know, as, as we are. And there's, there's no competition, mm -hmm. because if you are you, <laughs> well, why should you Who compete? can compete against you? There's no competition. Yeah. No competition. Wow, amazing stuff. Exciting insights from those that are involved in the music sector in Zimbabwe. You know, I felt like I was taken back to when we spoke to Patisanyat on food and its cultural representation to us as Zimbabweans. It's the same thing with music also. It represents us as a people. We can identify and find ourselves through music. So we should not even run away from music because it is part of us. We dance to it. We enjoy it. We spread messages and it carries our messages also. Wow, so much to learn every single day. Moving on. With the show, we get to hear from a radio personality, a musician, on what they think about music and how it influences their sectors and spaces of influence. Tatawe. Music was a way to express myself. It was a way to express myself. Um, I come from a, mu a family that's so musical. So it was very natural for me to step into it, but my parents, of course, were shocked when I actually wanted to take it up professionally and not as a hobby. <laughs> so um, life has really influenced me. Like, the only way I know how to express myself really is through music. Gosh, man, I can't. Can you imagine? I cannot play. I have tried playing the violin. I suck. I've tried the flute. I am kinda okay, <laughs> but you wouldn't want to listen to me play. Uh, right now I'm trying to um, get into, you know, how to learn how to play the keyboard. Because I have a brother who plays the keyboard so well. He's like classically trained, the drums, the guitar, you know, so it must be somewhere, right, if he can play. <laughs> 
definitely is. Um, with instruments, it teaches you a certain discipline that um, vocal training does not. Uh, radio remains relevant uh, when it comes to music because um, right now I'm a presenter, a producer presenter. So when I present music to my listeners, it's not something that I just come and do. I take time to prepare my show. I take time to choose my songs. So I think there's a difference between someone listening to music uh, on radio and maybe someone listening to the flash in their car or listening from the internet because this I present to the listener and probably with a lot of emotion and lessons to take here and there we, we, we kind of communicate I communicate with the listener so I think radio remains very relevant when it comes to music we would love to hear from you, just like we heard from our fellow musician and radio personality. The details are below the screen, but up next is what grinds my gears. I'm sure most of you are excited. Hi, my name is uh, Comrade Few. What grinds my gears, you know, these days the town it is no longer safe. I want to, they are living out of other people's gains. At the same time, we are trying to raise responsible citizens for our lovely country, Zimbabwe, but also the past 20 cents in my town. One minute, just want to sing a cell phone or your wallet is missing and those things are not good. And we are trying by all means and we are pleading with our police as not to say, please, also the lab or Abakambian Emachel. And please, to the relevant authorities, please, let's try by all means to create employment for these people. I want to love about Savings. That's why most of them say, we're going to go to town, we're going to go to the town. It's not good. It's not good, really. I'm against all sorts. Please, I'm going to go to the town, we're going to go to the town, we're going to go to the town. That would be better for them, which would be something to end a living. Thank you very much. Music is love, love is music, music is life, and you should love your life. And thank you very much for being a part of our family here at Tatawena. Please get in touch with us, we would love to hear from you. The details are on the screen, and the hashtag is Tatawena. My name is Gil Morty, the Global Citizen. Until next time, same time, same place, enjoy the rest of your viewing, and God bless.